somewhere where the temperatures yeah. aren't as bad as back home, that's for sure. Yeah, Eric, we're delighted to have weather like this, and we know the days are getting longer there in New England, too. A lot to celebrate. Absolutely, absolutely. Good vibe all around the area out there tonight as we get ready for a big weekend and some of that warmer air making its way over toward New England as we make our way into next week in particular. But tonight, it is cold. 17 degrees in Boston. Still a west breeze out there. It's three below in Orange. Parts of Worcester County, southern New Hampshire, sub-zero temperatures for three straight nights. That is some pretty cold stuff. This will be the last night that's this cold for quite a while around the area. The milder air is starting to work its way across much of the country. Midwest thawing out. In fact, we'll have record highs over the next couple of days in those same spots that saw extreme cold earlier on this week. Pattern quieting down briefly here. All the action is across the West Coast. Big storm just starting to come into California. They're expecting up to 10 feet of snow in the Sierra with that storm and a lot of rain across the state in the lower elevations. For us, we had some light snow pass to the south today. Some light snow will pass to the north tomorrow. But if you're heading up across Vermont, New Hampshire, into Maine, there'll be some dustings up to an inch of that system moving through. So tomorrow morning, we wake up to single digits and even a few sub-zero numbers to the north and west. Quiet, chilly winter day. There'll be some filtered sunshine, a lot of high and mid-level clouds tomorrow. And it gets breezy in the afternoon. Just kind of a standard early February day. It gets a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer on Sunday. And a little milder still as we make our way into Monday with the peak temperatures arriving on Tuesday. So if you're heading out tomorrow, no major issues, just chilly and some of that filtered kind of dim sunshine for a good part of the day. The wind picks up out of the west-southwest during the afternoon. Tomorrow night, it's cold, but seasonably so. We drop back to around 20 degrees, dry and chilly. And then on Sunday, it's going to feel a little bit nicer. You're going outside, maybe a long walk before things get going for the Super Bowl and we start digging into all the great food. Less wind, high near 40 degrees, just a light southerly breeze there on Sunday. Tomorrow, Groundhog Day. I feel like it snuck up on us this year. Ms. G and Lincoln, partly cloudy skies, same story for Punxsutawney Phil out there in western PA. So tomorrow's high temps ranging from the upper 20s in Worcester to lower 30s across most of the area. Sunday we do a little bit better, mid 30s in central Mass as well as southern New Hampshire to low 40s in the Boston area and southeastern Massachusetts. Great weekend ahead up to the slopes. You're ice fishing, some snowmobiling, or heading up some of the ski areas. Some snow showers tomorrow in the 20s, up to around 30 on Sunday, but fairly comfortable. Some great conditions to the north. They've seen some tremendous snow compared to the disparity. Uh, you go to southern New England, it's been such a quiet winter. Here's a look at the temperature trend into the 50s as we head toward Monday and Tuesday. Monday looks like a dry day. Tuesday, a chance for a passing morning rain shower. Doesn't look like a lot of rain, but a few raindrops and well into the 50s for us. Back in the 30s to low 40s on Wednesday, a dry day, and the next storm system will be arriving Thursday night into Friday. Right now, it looks to feature rain and maybe some ice, but probably not much in the way of snow. It is tough to not get any snowfall in the first week of February. This is peak week when it comes to snow. If we don't get a flake, not even a trace of snowfall during the first seven days, which is possible, that's only happened three times on record in Boston, dating to 1891, four times in Worcester. So this is a bit of an unusual forecast for this time of the year. We're digging out of the cold, the milder air moving in up to about 57 on Tuesday. Wednesday, a dry one, and then Thursday into Friday is that next storm that we'll be watching, that potential for some interior ice. So that is the weather story right now. Still a low snow winter in the Boston area. So 